Hello and welcome to Magoo Plays. Today I am actually on my server, MagooCraft.net. Well, MC.MagooCraft.net, if you wish to join. And we play uh, Sky Factory 2, which is part of the AT launch. And you do not have to have the infinite inventory mod for that. Um, so this is our current spawn. Um, we recently had to reset our servers. And unfortunately that meant that all the people's islands were deleted. Um, this is our staff team, kind of like little hall. Just letting you know who's staff. And then over here, we used to have a marketplace, but um, it caused a lot of issues, so um, nothing can be bought or sold here, but it's still standing. <sighs> and Tarl, our, one of our admins, he was very kind to do all the work. He even did the really neat double helix here and took quite some time and of course he had input from me about how I wanted all the shops to look and everything and in this area here was uh, built by Rogue and Wolf Rex Galaxy so those two did a lot of work here to make this really neat this actually leads to our new, well, tells you how to get to our portal room so that you can go to the end and nether and that sort of stuff. And then this part here is just a really neat little place that was built by Taro. So, since I'm the server owner, I wanted to show you guys a little project that the staff team's been working on. Um, if I get my map open... Yeah. Um, so with the reset, I wanted to have something new. And um, they... Um, also, a few of my staff, mainly Rogue and me. Um, I don't know about the other guys. I don't remember what they said. But I know we wanted to get a new spawn because we were kind of getting tired with the old spawn when something new. So, I asked Rogue to start making something. I wanted something kind of steampunkish. So, as you can see, I'm coming up to a really interesting looking island with a waterfall and everything. This will be our new spawn. Subject to change, because there are some hot air balloons and stuff that might get changed. And I'm going to show you around a little bit. This is just a informational building here. It's got all of our staff's pictures and everything. And inside it just shows the internal parts. And what's really interesting is when you get up here, you've got like the gears and working or what's supposed to be the gears and working bits of the clock on the front. I believe, if that's what Taro, or uh, Rogue was going for. And then you got little hidden characters around the place. And everything like that. And so I'm gonna get out of here, if I can. And then from there, you can see that there's all these really neat little places and there's the clock part. Now, of course, I'm not going to give away all the hidden locations of the staff team in my video, but you've seen a couple, probably, if you've been paying attention. And then this is PC's uh, ship. 
the ship is going to be some sort of a buy only shop. You won't be able to sell anything. Um, it's actually still under construction. As you can tell, it's kind of empty. So, there won't be too much done in here yet. It's a very, very large ship. And he utilizes the elevator um, blocks very nicely. Let's see, this is its massive ship. I can't remember exactly what they said it was called. I think it was they said it was the Serenity from Firefly, I believe. PC can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but that's what this is. It's got, it looks like it's got a little landing pad type thing down there. Yep. And then, we've also got one other area that's been worked on, which is this area here, which I'm going to fly to real quick. Um, we recently found out that we've been having some issues with um, withers getting loose on the server, so we uh, decided that it would be best to make a, an arena to fight the wither because we don't want them running rampant and destroying things. So Tarl's been working very hard to get this Wither Arena set up. And it's supposed to be a floating kind of arena area. And it even has a little welcome message so you can, so it says that you're coming in or leaving. It says, don't forget your Wither Star if you, or Nether Star if you leave. You know, that sort of stuff. It's kind of neat. I like what he did with that. And then... This is the inside. I think he said in his video that he's not sure about the blue blocks. Um, that's fine. Uh, he... I, I believe that he... Can... Will be doing whatever he feels is best. It usually looks pretty good. So, this is going to be our Wither Fighting Arena. And... I won't spawn one in like he did in his video because I play in creative mode and it's no fun to fight the weather in creative. So that's that. And this will be available hopefully next week, but um, probably not. We're kind of unsure how that's going to go. Or, I can't type today. Okay. Alright, now that I'm back at spawn, I'm gonna give you guys a little tutorial on how to get your own island. So, when you first join the server, you want to do a command called slash island. And you'll see a screen that says create island. It's gonna have all these little items here at the top. And then since I've already got my own island, you click the little door, it takes you back to your own island. And that way you can, you know, where you are. You'll have to worry about everything else going on. And this is a start of my little island, um, little bridge. I like to kind of have like separate spots. Um, I added this, which is a really neat little thing. You have to have um, what's called a head crumbs head and two clay blocks to make a player statue. So you take two clay blocks and then you right click and it makes a player statue. Which is kind of a neat little thing to have if you want to, you know, kind of personalize or have like your favorite YouTubers or something like that. 
Um, and then this is going to be the future Magoo's Island house. It's going to be a little small, but this is just the start of it. I haven't really done too much yet. As you can see, uh, I really like the bridge that I made. Um, I kind of used my, the design that a rogue did for our um, bridge at the old spawn. Kind of chipped in music. I like that. So yeah, um, this will be my island for when I play on this my server. Um, of course, I'm gonna play in creative mode because I really, honestly, don't care to do all the excess work to make an island. It's just more fun for me to play in creative with the mods and everything. And it helps me be able to learn the mods so I can help players and everybody else. So that's Magoocraft, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed um, getting a little tour around and everything. Um, the new spawn is semi-complete. Um, Rogue does not have an estimated time as when that will be complete. I felt like showing it off, and um, hopefully he doesn't beat me up for doing so. So, um, yeah. Until next time, guys. I've been Magoo. You guys have been great. Thanks for coming and seeing MagooCraft with me today. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the server. Alright, talk to you all later. Goodbye.